Welcome viewers, welcome back to Royal Family Television. Instead of opting for a low-budget coronation, King Charles has decided to capitalize on the international attention that the Queen's funeral received by having a lavish ceremony. This video will break everything down for you, so please remember to subscribe for more. King Charles has ignored calls for cut-price coronation in favor of promoting UK PLC, despite the country's cost-of-living crisis. The funeral will be held at Westminster Abbey on May 6 and will feature the full glorious pomp and pageantry, though it will be shorter than the late Queen's. The historic event will capitalize on the massive interest from around the world that has developed since the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. Buckingham Palace and government aides reportedly took note of the widespread coverage and the King plans to make the most of it. According to the palace, the event will reflect the monarch's role today and look to the future while remaining rooted in long-standing traditions and pageantry. The king will be crowned with the magnificent St. Edward's crown, anointed with holy oil, presented with the orb, coronation ring, and scepter, and blessed during this momentous occasion. Despite the pomp and circumstance, it is widely known that the king will not be giving British citizens an additional bank holiday on the day of his coronation. There will be celebrations all over the country, and thousands of people are expected to descend on London to witness the momentous occasion. According to the Mirror, ministers have agreed that additional vacation time is highly unlikely. Conflicts with sporting events, the availability of Westminster Abbey and the Archbishop of Canterbury, and the possibility of good weather, have all been discussed with the government. But a royal expert has said that there is a sting in the tail to the plan to hold the coronation on Archie Mountbatten's birthday. Windsor's Daniela Elser predicted that Prince Harry's son's fourth birthday is going to be a bit of a rubbish one. She continued by saying it was surprising to see what was forgotten amidst all the planning for the King's coronation. According to the Times, while the timing of the FA Cup final and the Epsom Derby were taken into account by Buckingham Palace, it is pretty surprising that the sixth in line to the throne's birthday was not. The Queen Consort, along with other family members, will participate in military ceremonial roles for King Charles's first official birthday parade next summer. King Charles will continue the custom of celebrating his birthday with a parade in the summer, known as Trooping the Color. Though his real birthday is November 14, a celebration in his honor will be held in the heart of London on June 17. This military pageantry includes the regiments of the Household Division marching along the Mall and in front of Buckingham Palace on Horse Guards Parade. However, the palace has announced that other female members of the family will be taking new rows as colonels for some of the other regiments. The monarch is currently the colonel-in-chief of the regiments of the Household Division. The Duke of Edinburgh, the Queen's consort, will be promoted to the honorary rank of colonel in the Grenadier Guards. This follows the return of the title to the late Queen, after it had been taken from Prince Andrew, when he was stripped of his royal titles earlier this year. What are your thoughts on this matter? Please let us know in the comments down below.